what's up guys YouTube what's going on oh been a bad week bad week that was an alligator gar that I was poking with a stick <laughs> I was at a customer what was that oh I don't remember I was at a customer and there was a pond over there And you know me, I like to explore, so I went over to the pond. I didn't know this. I always, I always thought they didn't let us fish in those ponds around the customers. Like Amazon always has lakes and ponds around it and things like that. But you can actually fish in those. I asked the uh, people inside, they was like, yeah, people fishing them all the time. So if you guys keep fishing poles in your trucks, which I'm going to start doing, you can fish in those ponds. But anyways... I walked over to the pond and there was a bunch of alligator gars in there. Like about every 10 feet, there was an alligator gar, a bunch of carp too. I actually got a clip of two alligator gars like cornering a carp. But anyways, been a bad week. Been a bad week. I took some days off to go up to Ohio. McKenzie had a family thing we had to attend. So I took some days off to go up to Ohio. And I wanted to have some extra money on me when I went up there. So I did. I turned in all of my loads for the week. Instead of following my own advice, which I gave you guys in a couple of videos, about always hold a load out. Don't turn in all your loads if you're going to be taking home time. Keep a load out to, turn, to uh, get you back on your feet when you come back. You can turn it in and be ahead of the game. I did not do that. I turned everything I had in so I could have some extra money. Which cost me, because when I came back, I came back on a Tuesday, and uh, so I had pay period ends midnight, Tuesday night at midnight, Wednesday morning. So I had about a day and a half to get a load in, which I got one load in, got my check settlement, and it was negative. It was negative $536, which means I still owe the company $536 for my truck payment, my insurance, things like that. Uh, truck payment, all those expenses, they're due. Even if you're not driving, those payments are still due. So I ran my butt off this week, tried to run my butt off this week, but I wasn't able to. The loads didn't come in. I only got about 2,300 miles, which sucks. It really does. I was hoping to get at least 3,000, about 3,500 miles would have been good for me. That's what I was aiming for. So, but I got enough in to cover the money I still owe them from last week. I'm going to cover it. Also, all the expenses from this week. And I'm probably not going to end, I'll end up not, not getting any money to myself this week either. Which means two weeks without a paycheck so far. On top of that, my 70 hour clock is completely drained. I have no hours on my 70. I'm running on recaps. I'm at a customer now in Mobile, Alabama picking up a load I have six hours left on my 70 and I got those back at midnight so I started my recap hours so I've got I'm gonna try to deliver this load it's a little over 1200 miles and do a 34 because if I don't get a 34 in I'm gonna lose my butt I'm gonna start going into the red and I can't do that uh, so I'm gonna try to deliver this load and then get a 34 in and try to run my butt off uh, so I can bring that money back up and get back into the positive. So I always hold a load out, guys, to turn in for when you come back from home time or take a vacation. You don't want to spend two or three weeks playing catch up like I am right now. Living proof that it sucks. It does. It sucks. But anyways, I found some uh, clips that I, I recorded when I was at the orientation in Tunnel Hill, Georgia. I'm going to show the room you go in to do your agility test or part of it. I'm going to show a box. There's a wooden box you'll see in the video. It has a bunch of weights inside of it. You have to carry this box down a hallway. I think three times, back and forth three times, and then come back in and put it on the bottom shelf, which I will show the shelf in the video as well. You'll pick it up off the bottom shelf, put it on the middle shelf, take it off, put it on the top shelf. 
I'm also going to show uh, the table that you have to duck walk underneath. I'm going to show it. A lot of people are interested in it or want to know what it is because they're scared that it's real low and they're not going to be able to make it. But as you'll see in the clip, it's pretty high up. It's about shoulder height on me. I'm 5'10", so uh, it's pretty high. I mean, it's not really that difficult to go underneath it. You also have to climb on top of it with using three points of contact. And I'm also going to show the lunchroom or the break room area and the classroom through a window. Uh, I didn't really record too much while I was there because I didn't want to violate any of the privacy policies or anything like that. So, uh, here's the clips. Hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps you out and eases your mind about the duck walk or anything of that nature. And I hope you guys follow my follow my example or don't follow my example and hold a load out. Don't turn in everything you have when you go into home time. Keep a load out because it sucks playing catch up, guys. It really does. But anyways, here's the clips. I hope you enjoy it. I'm out. What's up, guys? Uh, day one orientation for US Express. I am doing the lease program here with them. Uh, I was going to give you a tour. I'm the first person here. I drove my own car, so I'm by myself. But here's uh, a little break room, I guess. Pretty nice location. Uh, I'm assuming this is training room where we will be training. So apparently we have to do a physical agility test. We have to do a duck walk, walk underneath a table that mimics a trailer. Uh, carry 50 or 75 pounds in a crate. And they also monitor your heart rate and uh, do a drug screen. <sighs> nah, that's all I got for right now. You will lift this box to that shelf, to that shelf. That's the pull pressure gauge that you will have to pull a certain amount of pressure on. You have to climb on top of this with three points of contact and duck walk underneath this. As you can see, it's pretty high. 